Okay guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make this neat little case out of Legos for the Raspberry Pi 2. Okay, so the first part that I'm going to build is going to be the top half, right here and up. Right here and up. Okay, so what you're going to need for that is you're going to need 32 by 4s two 1x8s and one 1x4 one okay so you're gonna so the first step is take 18 of these and make six of these okay so let me get them all here six so the next thing you want to do is take one 1x8 one take four 2x4s and go put them on like that now go and take four more 2 by 4s and go like that okay so then you're going to want to take another one of these go like that okay now take four more 2 by 4s go like that Go like that. Okay. Now here you're gonna want to grab your other one by eight and your one by four. Go like that. Stick it on there. Okay. Now this is 13 studs long and eight studs wide. It's now into the floor for the case. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two six by eights, two one by eights one six by twelve and one two by twelve now you can either use tiles like i'm doing here or you can make it out of bricks or whatever Just use whatever you want whatever you have but i'm going to use these so what you're going to do is you want to put this on here like that with an overlapping one make sure it's good on there and then put a one by eight here there you go. Put the uh, 2 by 12 here. And then put this one, the 6 by 8, stick it on there. And then go like that with the uh, remaining 1 by 8. Now, the next part I'm going to show you is optional, so you don't have to do it. It involves the use of 6 2 by 3s and 4 2 by 4s. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take a 2 by 4, put it right there. Take another one, put it there, and then take another one and put it there. And then you're going to take the 2 by 3s go like that, go like that, go like that. Now you're going to do the same to the remaining side, go like that, like that, like that. Now I'll put the remaining 2 by 4 right here, and now you got a little raised floor, which is very nice. Okay. So next we're going to focus on the in-between parts between these two. Okay? Okay, now it's time to start on the in-between parts. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three 1x8s, one 1x6, two 1x4s, three um, 2x1s, and one 1x3, and also... Um, two one by ones now for tiles you're going to need a two by four or you can use two one by fours you're going to also need to have four one by four tiles as well and these like little like one by one round um like headlight thing elements and and the last thing you'll need is um, two like little windshield elements. Yeah. So let's put them over to the side. Okay. So let's begin. So you're gonna start by taking two of these, two one by eights. Yeah. Put them right here, right here. Take the one by six. Place it right there. Now you're going to want to stack two um, 1x4 tiles. You're going to want to stack them on top of each other and place them right there. Now you're going to want to take 
two of these um one by two tiles and I mean not tiles, I mean bricks. And uh just put them right there. Yeah. And so then you're gonna wanna take the two by four and place the two remaining one by fours on it. So go like that. And now um place it place it right here. No wait, uh yeah, yeah that's right. Let's place it right there. Now what you're gonna wanna do next is take the one by ones and the one by fours. I'll place the one by four here and a one by one here. I'll place a one by four here and a one by one here. There. Okay. And next thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to take your window things here okay now if you're using HDMI place this window here if you're using AV go and place this window right um, right here okay so just keep that in mind since I'm gonna use AV I'm gonna place it right there now another important note um, would be that if you are using um, uh, four USB ports you're going to want to have this open but if you're not and you're just using two um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put that there that, add, that adds extra stability and stuff but um, if you don't want to have it you don't have to yeah, so I'm just going to get rid of that because I want to use four. Okay, and so now you're going to want to take your other thing here, your other window element, and just place it right there. So the next step is you're going to want to take the remaining 1x8 and put it on there. And then you're going to take the 1x3, put it on there. Take the remaining 1x2 um, and put it on there so that about does it for the top piece now let's go to the bottom piece so now for the bottom piece you're gonna take your four little headlight bricks I mean not bricks I mean elements so and then you're gonna place one right here right there um, now you might not be able to see this very well because it's actually the same color as the back as this part so so there's one right here and one right here. So now you're gonna put one um right here. No, actually right here. Yeah. Put it right there. And you're gonna put one right here. Yeah. So now let me show you what that does. What that does is it kinda lets the pie like float kind of like lets it float there so letting it float is very helpful because then the little pieces don't get caught on the Legos so that's very helpful and then you're gonna put this part back on like it is here and that's pretty much it and also another thing is um to make it more stable you could go like this over the um the over the uh, internet port thing here go like that and it's more stable but they won't be able to hook up to like landline but it doesn't really matter because most people use Wi-Fi anyway so there it is the finished product just slap on some wheels and there you go see you next time